Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hi guys, welcome back. It's me. And honestly, congratulations to me for making another video because my willpower with the views I've been getting is really this big. We are going to be doing a little day in my life today and I want to talk to you guys about what I'm doing this year to make my life feel a little bit better. Let's get going on some preparation for the day. I just had a nice little breakfast, made myself some oatmeal, some eggs. Honestly, I'm really, I really hate breakfast. Breakfast really annoys me because I just seem to never know what to eat. So I literally come out with the most random combinations of food. Like oatmeal and eggs doesn't sound like it would slap that much, does it? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it doesn't. It actually didn't taste good at all, but I need to fuel myself, so protein in the morning is important, and then carbs. I also have my little iced espresso. Anyways, let's talk new year, new things, and new vibes. One of the most important things that I want to do for myself this year is create better balance in my life. I really end up existing in this fine line between either being very stressed out all the time and overworking myself, or being so lazy to the point where I get stressed out about how lazy I am. So there's really no in between. I'm either way too, I'm doing too much, I'm doing way too much, or I'm doing not enough. And this year we're gonna hone in on that and find that balance. At least that's my goal. And I think we're gonna go through a day that is optimized for balance, where I spend my time working and then I also get time for myself. And let me tell you, it's not easy because so far in my 24 years of life, I haven't really been able to get it perfect. I just got the kale and green tea spinach vitamin super cleanser from Youth of the People. I'm obsessed with it. I think I like this little life. I think I like this little life. So how was your guys' 2023? Mine was a, like one of these roller coaster vibes but it ended off great so I'm, I'm pretty like pretty content with that I feel like sometimes we have the ebbs and flows and the ebbs and flows of emotion <sighs> sometimes we look a little bit so ugly does anyone else feel like as they age they get uglier but you wouldn't think that at 24 you feel so unbelievably fugly but happens to the best of us I guess I think the beauty standards are getting higher and I'm staying the same so that's what's making me feel like that I had a phase I was 20 maybe 19 I thought I was the most gorgeous girl in the whole world by the way I'm gonna use the pharmacy honey glow 17% resurfacing acid serum skin fix barrier triple lipid peptide cream I have recently been really enjoying this because one like I just feel like my skin is protected I have begun to realize as of lately that this is the most beautiful base under your makeup so now is our time to plan a little bit of what I need to get done today. Because I am a work from home girl, I do YouTube, kinda. I do a lot of short form content. I also have a podcast, uh, freelance edit content for a marketing company. So I need to make time to do all of that and then have time for myself and then have time, a little time for social life and then a little time for my mental and physical health. So that's what we're gonna plan into my schedule today. I just really love physical planning to have it like tangibly in my hands. It feels nice and then kind of organize it better on my computer. And what I like to do is I use Notion and Notion is where I plan my daily tasks and then I also plan my larger tasks. Right now I downloaded a January success tracker and I was working on that yesterday. It kind of shows weekly focuses, current job stuff, um, extra job stuff, travel stuff, and others, things you want to get done during the month. But first thing we're going to do is go to the gym. All right. It's time to get ourselves to the gym. Physical health, let me tell you, plays a big part in balance. And you know what? Don't get me wrong, I am so the type of girl that will skip out on going to the gym if I just feel like I need a rest. That's actually what I did last night. So I also wanted to talk to you guys about our sponsor today. So future Alex is gonna take it away and talk to you guys a little bit about mental health. Hi guys, future Alex here. As you guys can tell, I've been talking a lot about having a balanced routine throughout your life. One of the biggest, biggest, 
biggest things, and I'll say it with my chest, that is the most important in order to have a balanced lifestyle is to maintain your mental health. I truly believe that everything that goes on in your mental health is reflected into your exterior world. So when you make sure that taking care of your mental health is a priority, it will reflect there. I definitely find it very challenging, especially with how fast paced our lives are to be able to incorporate things that help our mental health. And that's why I feel so passionately about our sponsor today, BetterHelp, and that's Better H-E-L-P. When daily tasks start feeling too overwhelming and making time for self-care is just a little too difficult, finding therapy through BetterHelp is one of the best ways to maintain your mental health in a hectic schedule. Therapists can even help you find time and offer strategies for managing the stress of everyday life. BetterHelp is an accessible way to start therapy, especially for those of us who are working a lot, doing a lot of heavy school, don't have a lot of free time. With BetterHelp, you can chat to a therapist on the phone, on video call, or through text, whatever works best for you. You have completely flexible communication with your therapist throughout your busy lifestyle. You can even schedule therapy sessions whenever you see fit. You're not gonna have to take a break, leave your house, head out to your appointment, or take time off of work. And this aligns perfectly with finding time for self-care throughout your day and having it fit and work easily to have that balance routine. Over 4 million people use BetterHelp. I personally do see a therapist. It has definitely helped me, especially in my more challenging times when I felt like I had no balance in my life to get to the place where I am today. If you want to try out therapy through BetterHelp, you can click the link here, which is betterhelp.com slash Alex Adams. And by clicking the link, you will get 10% off your first month. Clicking this link and using it supports my channel. So if you guys would like to try therapy through BetterHelp, I would really appreciate using this link. I do genuinely believe so much that therapy can really make a big impact on anyone's life, whether you are struggling very much or you're just trying to find ways to cope with the everyday stress of life. So let's all try to be a little bit more balanced, especially considering our mental health. And yeah, let's get back to the video. So we are almost ready to go. This has literally been my favorite deodorant and I just discovered it. Spray on deodorant, kind of elite. It's the aluminum free secret deodorant and it smells like lavender and it's Today, we're gonna do a quick workout. Whenever I'm working out during the day, I don't like to completely deter my time where I can like get work done and stuff because I don't like working until the evenings, which for the most part I normally do. But we're just gonna throw on a little t-shirt and we're all set. I'm gonna do a leg day. I haven't done a leg day in a while. So I haven't done glutes or quads in a while. So I'm gonna do a combination of both because it's Friday and I know I'm not gonna be able to do any workouts this weekend. So I'm just gonna combine them into one. even had a moment to get change out of my gym clothing because they need me to edit so I have to get on and start editing and then I can shower after but I did make myself some lunch very important part of a balanced life is balanced nutrition the one thing I'm missing is vegetables did she burn her chicken looks like it but it still tastes good I have to eat shower finish up some editing here and then I'm going to record a podcast episode okay I'm taking a little breaky break right now I edited some videos I'm about to record a podcast but got some Amazon packages ordered them last night and they're very random articles but so I got wireless microphone coming soon for some reels and tiktoks I think it'll be fun I'll have a mini little microphone and this one is probably the most random thing some retainer cleaner I have a mouth guard that I wear every night because I have a jaw clenching and teeth grinding problem 
So I just recently started wearing my mouth guard again because I have terrible pain. So I'm gonna get set up for my podcast. I record on my bed because I'm literally recording for like an hour and I wanna be comfy. Please, please genuinely ignore how my bed sheets look like. I had to wash my other bed sheets and I needed to quickly put on a new bed sheet. I don't like how these ones look. Honestly, they're not ugly. It just doesn't match anything in my room at all. So it looks really contrasting and weird. Also, for those of you who do listen to my podcast, I'm definitely thinking of starting video soon and it might look a lot like this. Just letting you guys know that. Um, I'm not doing it yet for this season because I haven't prepared for it and all the editing, like the pre-editing that's gonna come. Adding video to your podcast is actually a lot of work. Today's episode is going to be, I always write them down in Notion, is are you the problem? And I'm feeling very passionate about this episode because I have a real big love for taking accountability, mostly when other people do it, obviously for myself as well. Um, and that's what we're gonna be talking about. It's gonna be kind of like, are you the toxic one in your relationship? Are you the one who should be taking a look at yourself? It's not always everybody else's problem. Sometimes you can be the problem. So we're gonna get started on recording that. Why can't I hear my mic? Hello, 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 hello. There we go. I think I like this little life. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Between You and Me. I'm so happy. I just worked my little heart away. As you can see, I'm laying down on my bed like a pretty princess. I actually have a pretty princess here with me. Oh my God, who's that? Who's this pretty girl? Look at this pretty girl. Oh, she's scared. No, he's staying. Look at her. She's so spooked. She's so spooked. Since I'm all done my work, I can chill out for a bit. Um, I'm going to get ready later for my secret Santa. Normally this time I'll either watch whatever show I'm watching at the moment or some YouTube. And currently the show I'm watching is 90210. I'm re-watching it from my childhood. Not 90210 Beverly Hills, like the more recent 90210. It's not really hitting the same way it used to. So that's leading me to stray away and go onto YouTube and watch some YouTube videos, so. that time now where we're getting ready to go see my friends. I'm gonna do a very comfy casual. Actually, you guys can see my fit. I went from one black outfit to another. Um, if you're interested to know, this t-shirt, Skims, you may ask? No, no, H&M jersey tee. And just to do you one better, these are from Walmart. Go get your Walmart sweatpants. They actually do not disappoint. Anyways, I need to figure out what to do with up here because I'm looking a bit disheveled. But yeah, today was a long day. I'm a bit tired, honestly, but I think it was because of my leg day. Normally, leg days kind of wipe me out. For the most part, I feel like I really did get a good amount of, like, solo time and work time done. I hope I can keep up this good balance energy throughout the year because I feel like, you know, like I said previously, I have a hard time. I'm either doing too much or nothing at all. It's definitely a big goal for me, and I want to maintain that along with my physical mental health, good work-life balance, good time with my friends, good time I'm with my boyfriend and I'm, I'm literally actually fitting it all in today. This doesn't happen often. I'm even seeing my boyfriend afterwards and I didn't even like put that together that I was doing that as well. So I'm really killing it today. And I had dinner with my family. So I hung out with them too. All right, I think I'm doing too much, truly. My friends don't need all this. Anyways, hope you guys had a great time watching this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration, some tips and tricks on balancing your life out in your day to day and making things feel a little bit more, a little bit easier, less chaotic. Balance is really the goal at the end of the day. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. More than 50% of you guys aren't subscribed and it would mean a lot to me. I have had some of what of an identity crisis thinking about how YouTube has not really been doing very well and it is my main source of how I survive on a day to day. So you know what? I <laughs> might have to get another job. So, and you can check out my podcast and Instagram and TikTok down below. All right, love you guys, bye.